Good evening. Uh, welcome once again to uh, this uh, SIM programmer channel. Right, uh, today we are going to talk about sharing event handlers in C Sharp. So in C Sharp, uh, remember C Sharp programming language is an object-oriented programming language. Uh, and in object-oriented programming, uh, we focus much on objects. Right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, event sharing event handlers in C Sharp. So remember, uh, in C Sharp, as we have said, uh, we work much on objects. So today I'm going to show you how you can uh, work with objects, right, but sharing the same event, right. Remember, uh, real, the real world uh, has many objects. Let's take, for an example, a dog. A dog has a name, has a color, has size, is white. So an object in C sharp is a particular instance of a class where the object can be a combination of variables, functions, and data structures. So on the, all these combinations uh, makes or forms a, a, an object in C sharp. So today we are going to work with the, these objects which I have put on this form. Right? You can see I have uh, three buttons. And the text of those buttons is button one, is one, two, three, and the text box. Right? Uh, if I click and go to the properties of this uh, button, you can see the name of the button is button one. So I have and renamed these buttons, and all this is button one, this is button two, this is button three, and this is text box one. Right? So from there, we are going to move on to. Uh, look at how we can share those event handlers in a C sharp. Remember when we we talked about creating events in C sharp, we said if you place an object here and double click it, right, you can uh, see this uh, private void a button one click object sender event uh, a r g s a. Right, this means that you have created an event. So this is an event. So uh, today we are going to uh, to have a look on this uh, event. Like uh, we have uh, these three buttons. Remember, all these are objects, and we are going to see how all these three uh, objects, these three buttons, can share the same event, right? Like this, because uh, previously we know that if you want to set, let's say, I want to set the text uh, property of this. Uh, text box to one, right? I can come and double click on this button and put something like text box one dot text is assigned to one, right? The, that's it. So this is what uh, we used to do. Excuse me. Excuse me a second. Right. Uh, we assigned it to one. Sorry. Uh, remember we said the text box uh, will accept only string properties so this was an integer and it can't be displayed in the text box so it needs some formatting for it to be displayed right so uh, that's it and if you want to display the text uh, for this next button you have to double click and create create the event for that button and then display the text on the text box like this right so that's the way we used to do I think let's try to go and run this uh, project so that you can have a look on how this uh, works right so this is uh, the old uh, or the, the way which we're working with uh, for all along so today we are going to uh, jump to into a new way or a new method of writing this statement right let's click one you can see the text box pro uh, text is set to one if you click to it is set to two right so we are going to change the way uh, we did things because if you look at the this code uh, already uh, it has main lines but all these lines are just doing the same thing is they are setting the text box property to this button uh, or to whatever text you want so we are going to delete this second event right and go back the form designer right you can see uh, we have this error let's solve it very fast 
double click this and open the designer right let's remove this uh, line right like this and close this designer and uh, it will open our design view like this so we are left to this uh, one event in this uh, form design but we want to share this event with all the other buttons so that you can set the text property of the button right into the text box so once the text box to display the text property of the button if you, uh, the user clicks one the text box will display one if the user clicks two the text box will display two if the user clicks three the text box will display three so what i'm going to do right now is we are going to uh, since we have created this event uh, of the button uh, of button one click right we are going to share this event with uh, button two so select a button go to the properties and click this uh, events or this lightning uh, you can see this click event and you want to set the click event of the second button to share the same event with the first button so just pick the drop down here and select button one so this means that we have set at the event of this button to the event of button one right and select this button again and right on in the event select that button click with this drop down and select the button one click right so let's go ahead and uh, execute this program so that you can see how it works right now i think it's pretty easy and it's pretty simple right away right so remember our code here behind this we are setting the text box property to one so nothing is going to change if you click one you're going to see the text box property to one let's you remove it like this let's click two you can go ahead and see one let's click three you can go ahead and see one why because uh, behind uh, on this uh, event we have this code setting the text pro box property to one right let's go ahead and change this code so that it can um, show the text box property uh, to the text button a uh, text right let's go ahead and declare an object right uh, we are now we are now going to de uh, going to declare the object in this uh, event so our object will be of type of a button remember we said a button is an object so if you type button you see shop you are declaring uh, an event we are de de declaring uh, a, a variable of the data type of an object data type and the object data type is specified here it can be a text box it can be a button it can be a radio button it can be a checkbox um, so we are going to use this remember when declared the variables normally use you int uh, num so this will mean that you have declared a variable of a data type integer so now we are going to declare a object like button so we have declared uh, and let's put uh, it like btn like this right so we have declared uh, a variable of the data type object and the object is the button right so button btn let's assign it to this uh, event we are going to assign it to this uh, object button and what do you want to do you want to use this sender and remember if you look on this uh, private void what 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 on the click event definition you can see we have this object and uh, the object is declared as a sender so i'm going to access this sender to set the pro the object uh, of a button to the text which we want so we are going to access our button using this sender since it is declared as an object and remember this sender is going to be is going to be used to extract whatever we want uh, from the buttons or the buttons we have so let's go ahead and say what we want to do with this uh btn this is our new object right and this new object is assigned to the value of sender right which means the sender if it's button two because we remember we're sharing this event uh, with the other two buttons right this one and this one are sharing the same uh, event with the, this button so we're going to say 
if we click uh, button two instead of button one because this event is only for button one but if you click button two it is going to pick uh, this sender is going to pick uh, the click and say no uh, this is a button so but it's not button one this event is for a button one click but what do you want to do as you have uh, said you want to share this event you, and uh, you want to assign uh, something or you want to do some operations so what you need to do is this sender will extract the exact value of the button or the exact name of the button which is which has been clicked and it is going to assign that uh, button name to this uh, btn object uh, of a type of a button and we are going to set the text property of the text box setting it from this btn or from the object so we are going to say uh, text box one dot text right we are going to set it to what btn remember this was this is a button because it is it is set here using this sender object right btn dot text what do you want here want the text property of this button right so the text property of the button is one two and three so if you click one this is the text the text property of the button if you go to the properties and you go to the text property you can see three so this is the value which we are extracting using a click of a button in a shared event handler in c sharp so let's go ahead and we run this program so that you can see how it works right i think by now it it might be more confusing but as you keep on doing some examples and some uh, stuff you will understand how it works right let's click one you can see the text box property is set to one and if you click two you can see the text box property is set to two if you click three you're going to set to see the text box property is set to three what is actually going on here is right excuse me right let me drag this uh, down and explain uh, something let me reduce the size right like this right like this let me reduce the size so that uh, you can see right as i'm explaining as i was explain, explaining i was just saying when you click this button right now if you click this one this uh, click is going to be since we are in a click event right here so the click of a button is going to be um, extracted by this sender because this is going to determine what operation was done and on what object uh, exactly so it will it, it take the exact object it will never get to the exact object which was uh, clicked or which is an operation which was performed and from that object what do you want to do we are going to we have declared the another object of the same data type of the object which was clicked like a button here so we have set the exact uh, data type or, or which is an object right from there we move on to assign that sender which extracts the exact value and uh, we are going to assign it to our new created object of type a button and what next we are going to set that uh, property the properties of that uh, object is going to be displayed in a text box like i have uh, mentioned before an object is anything which can have a value name or size or weight uh, so like a dog like a cat like anything uh, which is tangible which is visible which you can see so you are going to say uh, the button text is going to be used and the button text is going to be assigned to the text box so this is what we call event sharing in c sharp uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you have a nice time